beautiful people, welcome back. So for today's video, we are gonna be doing another purchase or pass video. And in this video, which I think I did my last one, I wanna say two or three weeks ago, I'll link it up here. But in that video, I had so many requests from you guys to do these more often. And as I was sitting here, you know, I was just kind of scrolling through trend mode. I just got done filming. And uh, which by the way, if you haven't seen this yet, I'll also link it up in the cards. I just did a full review of a bunch of new stuff from XX by Revolution, which is, um, um, like a bunch of new face products that were released by another subset of Makeup Revolution. It's a whole situation, but if you want to see it, you can check it out up there. Anyways, I was sitting here after I got done filming more of the story, and I was flipping through Instagram, and I kept seeing some stuff, and I don't know why, but for, you, you know how you just, you, sometimes you see some shit and it makes you feel some kind of way? That is me, and that is today, and that is like trend mood and like all the stuff that I'm seeing. So I figured we would just go ahead, turn the camera back on, and do a purchase or pass, again, per your guys' uh, request and recommendation. But before we get going into the video, I want to take a brief pause, let you guys know you can check me out on Instagram or on Twitter. They will both be linked down below. I am way more active over on Instagram. It's where I love to be. It's relational. It's hilarious. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that as well before you leave. I typically put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They normally go up around 7, 7.30 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And as of the last, you know, couple of weeks going forward, it's been a little bit crazy, but I'm hoping in the next month, things will wrap up here and we'll get back to a normal filming and uploading schedule. So bear with me and subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the first item, which you guys, this first one, there is something about it that gets me in so many different ways. Okay. So it's, this is from Violet Voss and this is their new Sakura Blossom palette. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you, for anybody who wants to come for me, say I said it wrong. Okay. I didn't. I Googled it. I even went over, go to googly dot right here. I typed it in and it even tells me. Sakura. Sakura. Okay, I did say it wrong. <laughs> you know the best part about this is that I even practiced and I was like, I know it. It's, what is it? Sakura. It's Sakura. I got it. But I keep getting hung up on this old, I think it's an SNL skit and it's the one with Bon Kui Kui and in it she calls security and I, okay, I, this doesn't mean anything to anybody unless you've seen the skit, but she calls it, she's like security, security. And for some reason I looked at this and I was like, oh, it's sucker, sucker. Kura, Sakura, and like that's just <laughs> where my brain went. And so, Sakura. It's Sakura, okay? Before you come for me, tell me I'm saying it wrong this time. It's Sakura. 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 Okay, that's right. I have to say, like, looking at the palette, I understand, like, I can see their vision. I see where they were going. It has all those hues to it. It has pops of gold and, like, the light little champagnes. I, I think overall it's a beautiful palette. But for me, in terms of, like, what I'm looking for right now, I'm just going to be dead ass honest, okay? I have so much eyeshadow and, like, eyeshadow palettes and individuals and all of that. Things have to be special or for a dedicated purpose for me to purchase them. And if I was someone that I gravitated towards like these types of colors, then maybe this would be like a direction I would go in. But for me, for right now, I'm just not really like, I don't, I don't know, like I'm in this weird thing. Well, <laughs> I can tell you, fun fact, I can tell you what my weird thing is right now. Um, for the last like two-ish, maybe three weeks in Northern Michigan, we've been hitting like 85, 90 degrees every single day, which <laughs> my poor body just is like, <clears throat> I'm melting into a puddle every single damn day. So my face, I keep looking in the monitor like, my God, is this what I look look like with makeup on like holy shit what is going on because I've legitimately forgotten what I look like when I have like all the good sculpty products on that like give me cheeks cheekbones like oh yes please I just forgot what it was like to be so you know facially put together so that's just like a disconnect I'm having like with makeup in general but as far as the palette goes it is beautiful it's just not something that like I'm into right now you know <laughs> moral of the story fun facts all around on to the next one here this is from Urban Decay and this is their stoned vibes eyeshadow palette and it says here that it includes 12 shades with different finishes and that looks and it looks like there are pressed glitters and foiled shades in it and I have to say okay this one for me Urban Decay y'all mm, you did that with some packaging it is so beautiful to me like that whole little I don't know what it's called where like it's got the the gems or whatever what the hell what's that called um mm, this, this doesn't help anybody does it um oh my god that thing where there's the rocks and the shit coming out of it where you like put the line and there's the picture. Do you know what I'm trying to say right now? Oh my God, nobody knows what you're trying to say right now, Paige, because you don't, you're not using any words. Um, oh my, mm, okay, I'll be back. I gotta do a Google search. They're the, this right here, that, what is that? What is that? Geode, 
geode. It looks like a geode. Oh my God in heaven. That was a lot of work for absolutely no payoff, okay? The moral of the story, the packaging is beautiful. It reminds me of geode, even though now that I'm looking at it, that's really like, I don't think what it is at all, but still that's what it reminds me of. Packaging's beautiful. As far as the palette itself goes and like the, the shadows and if I would purchase it, I think for me, there just isn't enough in here that I'm into. Again, the, the shades look really pretty. We haven't seen like swatches of it or anything. And I like the fact that they did include like, it, it looks like four matte shades. Um, and those are kind of meant to be like your base shades. And then from there you can build all the pizzazzly cuteness, which again, I'm on board with that. I think it's a cool concept. Um, and, and even in terms of like ease and use of application, I think it would be a very user-friendly palette that you could get like a fun, really poppy look from very quickly with minimal effort. And I'm on board for all of that. But for me, this just isn't something that, uh, that I would necessarily gravitate towards in terms of how I'm doing my makeup right now. Even with all that aside, I still have my Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. And that one I loved like way back when they came out with it. I want to say it was maybe two or so years ago at this point. And that palette's amazing. It has a nice arrangement. It has like two rows of neutral and two rows of colorful like shimmery glitters on each side and it's just a really beautiful consistency like the formula was nice and I've actually held on to it ever since I got it because truthfully even in like current day if I'm looking for like a specific shimmer or a certain pop I'll still revisit that palette and it's kind of like a go-to spot for me where I know I've got a good variety of shimmery glittery like sparkly options and so I feel like even though this is beautiful it's nothing that I would like reach for um, because no matter what I still have that other palette you know what I mean? So I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's beautiful and their packaging is amazing, but it's just nothing that I would get like a lot of use out of, I don't think. All right, so next up, this one I was gonna like skip over because truthfully I have avoided it thus far, but like we need to discuss Becca Cosmetics. They launched their Light Gleam Primer and Topper Liquid Eyeshadows along with their, what is it? Hydra Light Plumping Lip Balm and Plumping Lip Mask. And y'all, I... I'm deceased, okay? I want these, I want every single shade in this eye topper plumpy situation. Well, <laughs> the eye toppers aren't plumping, but oh my God, those light gl glimmery, bl I don't even know what the hell they are, okay? The eye shit, they look so beautiful. Like I have this thing for shimmery liquid shit that goes on your eyes. I'm wearing it right now. I cannot help myself. And there are just some shades of this that I think look absolutely stunning. And as much as I would love, okay? I would just love to sit here. I need both hands for this conversation, I guess, because I would love to sit here and make the commitment to you, to me, to my wallet, to my life, my savings and my bank account, okay? I would love to make the commitment that I'm not going to pick up one of these, but the harsh reality is that I can't make that commitment because like there are some shades in here that I just, Huh, like the shade Lunar, the shade Dusk. Oh my God. Like they just look so beautiful and I'm just obsessed. Now in terms of the other products, the plumping lip balm and the mask, I think those are cool and I would love to check them out. Are they top priority in terms of like this list? <laughs> oh, absolutely not. Okay. Because the light shit for the eyes, that is priority numero uno, number one. And you know, then from there we could visit the lip balms and we could get into like that whole side of things. Which actually, if you think about it, it's a little ironic that I would say that because of the things that are on here, I would probably use more in my day-to-day -day life, the lip products than I would the eye stuff because I just said like right now I'm not even wearing makeup. So <laughs> like the irony of what I want versus what I would use the most, you know, it's not lost on me. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, I really want to, really want to get my hands on some of those eye glittery shimmery shits. Oh my God, Becca. All right. So this next one, pretty short, simple to the point here. This is from Hourglass. They released their Instant Extensions Mascara and it says that it'll give you impossibly real lashes with a dramatic extension effect. They launched July 9th on their website. I purchased them July 9th on their website and they will be here very, very soon. So check me out over on Instagram because I'll probably be using them over there because I'm so excited. You guys know I love Hourglass and I just want some more new Hourglass on my face, in this case, on my eyeballs. And I'm here for it, yes please, sign me up. All right, so Charlotte Tilbury, as I'm scrolling here, I gotta pause, Charlotte Tilbury launched something and it's very adorable, what is this? Some, it's gotta be something Pillow Talk. I don't even gotta read this to know it's gonna be Pillow Talk something, okay? Hold on, let me let me read. It says, available now, early access, Charlotte Tilbury for the new Lip and Cheek. Are the new, oh my God, you guys, the newest edition, <laughs> the newest edition of the Pillow Talk family. Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow a cream blush and lip tint. That's me patting myself on the back because I knew it, damn it. I knew it. I knew it. Wow, I just became the cattiest bitch in 13.2 seconds, but for real, okay? 
What does that tell you when I'm like, oh, it's gonna be a pillow talk something? You know, you know what gave it away? The fact that it's pink. That's all I needed. It's pink, so I know, I, I know that it's gonna be pillow talk because if it is pink, ergo it is pillow talk. Huh. But anyways, these actually do look really pretty. I mean, like all my shade aside, these do look like beautiful shades. Um, my biggest thing with these is like right now at a current place in my life and in my makeup collection, do I need another cream blush? literally could not need anything less, okay, that I need another cream blush, but also at the same time, like, do I need them? Because they look <laughs> very, very pretty. Um, they both look like, again, the shades are really nice. I, I like them. Um, I, I just don't know if I would end up picking this up. I can't get past the irony that I knew that was going to be something pillow talk. But uh, yeah, for me, I don't know that, that this is something I would necessarily get right now just because I don't need it and I have so many new cream blushes. But in the future, I mean, I'm going to leave it wide open because when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury, honey, I have a tendency, okay, and my tendency is yes, please. It's just sometimes I make myself wait like a minute, but like also maybe not. I don't know, okay? I can't speak on it. I can't speak for future Paige. When she gets stressed out, things happen. All right, so on to the next here. This is from Jouer, and this is their Champagne and Macaroons collection. And I gotta be honest, y'all, this has the perfect, and I mean the perfect amount of basic ass bitch for me to want the almost the entire collection like those two cheek palette situations I think they are beautiful yeah I could definitely see me being down on like 80% of this collection yeah maybe like 60 60% of this collection because I would probably do like that eyeshadow though no, those two eyeshadows that blush palette maybe one or two of the glosses maybe the balm so yeah about about 50 60% of it and I think that that's you know like that's like a fair amount I think my main draw toward this collection truthfully is just that it's so light and it's so airy and even though like I said I'm not wearing a lot of makeup right now I feel like this would still be stuff that even on a light makeup day where I didn't want a ton these are still items that would be good for that they would be nice light airy um makeup application but it would still be you know done up and it would look pretty and it would look refined and that's very much so my look again even though I'm not wearing a lot when I do that's more so what I gravitate towards and I really like the look of this collection which you know what now that I think about it I haven't talked about Jouer in a hot minute, so it would actually be nice to kind of talk about somebody a little different for a change, not one of the usuals, just spice it up a freckle. That could be good. Okay, so maybe me and this blush palette, me and those, the, the, the little eyeshadow situation, maybe me and that gloss. Okay, maybe you'll be seeing it soon. If I get my hands on it, I mean, you, you guys will be the first to know, obviously. Hello, beautiful people. Editing page here. I wanted to step on super quickly and make one note about this collection because, well, A, if you were looking at the collection at all, I think you might want to know that there was a little bit of a change. Um, I was on trend mood and it's something that I really appreciated about the owner. I think her name is Christina. Um, I, I think I could be getting that wrong, but she actually went on, it was on Instagram. I want to say maybe a week or so ago and, or maybe it was just within the past few days, but she actually decided to pull the eyeshadows, like the little trios. She decided to pull them out of this collection and I really appreciated her decision on this. And it's just something I wanted to touch on again, in case you were looking at it as well. Um, she decided to pull the eyeshadows because she, when they went to go launch them, um, she had like, I guess a little travel or like a little set of them with her and she noticed that they were cracking and then eventually they were completely shattering just from like day-to-day -day use being in a makeup bag that sort of thing and so ultimately they contacted the lab and all of that and she said there's no way that I can fix this and like you know rectify the situation before the launch because they literally found this out like I mean days before their launch was supposed to happen and um I just really appreciated that about her because she's like I don't want to sell stuff that's going to break I don't want to sell stuff where the formula isn't perfect like yes the shadows themselves are beautiful and they're great and they work really well but ultimately she just didn't want to sell stuff that what she knew was going to break apart and not work for people and I don't know that's just something that I really appreciated you know just from like a consumer standpoint and I wanted to throw it out there so I did end up picking up the blush palette I picked up which I believe it was the lighter blush palette obviously because I'm this pasty but I picked up the blush palette and I believe there was like a trio where you could get the lip balm the blush palette palette and one of the glosses I think so I believe that's what I ended up going with again it was just like a set on the website and I'm super excited it's not here yet so definitely follow me on Instagram and I will let you guys know when it does come in but anyways I just thought it was super cool that she did it I thought it was a cool thing and something that was worth noting and yeah that's it on with the video okay 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 everybody just needs to stop right now I just need like a moment to breathe Pat McGrath is releasing another mascara how did I miss this how 
<laughs> what is happening in my life? Okay, this is their Dark Star Mascara by Pat McGrath. Intensely volumizing, lift and lifts and gives length to your lashes with maximum impact and control. $30. Pitch black, micro fine, creme pigments, teleport your eyes and my soul. Layering each lash with volume for fuller, stretched, and more defined lashes. Holy baby Jesus, spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. I am done. Yes, please. Oh my God, you guys. I... I need a moment, okay? I love Pat McGrath. The other mascara from her, whatever it is, I don't even remember right now because I can't breathe. But the other mascara from Pat McGrath, let me just tell you, I love it. Like, I have used it so many times, day in and day out. It is a beautiful mascara. And I had no idea this launched. Like, I just, I, I, I just, I just saw it, like, scrolling through. <gasps> I almost missed it, you guys. I am so on board for this. Oh, <laughs> you be ready because we are talking about this. We are talking about this. <sighs> so excited. So that, that one's a yes for me. That is a yes for me. Yes. All right. So here's another one. I mean, we can just talk about it. The, uh, the pure and raw beauty Christie collab. Let's just, let's just get into it because I would have loved to pick this up and I would have loved to purchase it and talk about it. And as of right now, I don't think I will get to because it launched several hours ago and I have yet to be able to even get on the site to make it work at all because I keep getting gateway errors and I keep getting malfunctions. Like m m it just will not work for me for whatever reason. Okay. Beautiful people. So I I decided to put the phone down for these because <laughs> my arm is already getting tired. But I wanted to mention something and I actually decided to just cut out all of the footage that I had with this whole pure collaboration thing because now that it's actually happened I can just go ahead and kind of give you the update here so first thing I want to mention is that I was able to get the collab I think I mentioned this over on Instagram so if you already obviously follow me there you know that but uh, I was able to get my hands on it and I was in the queue because I had a bunch of people asking me that as well um, I was in the queue uh, for I want to say for a few hours it, it went live my time around noon and I didn't purchase it until about noon nine o'clock at night. So it, it definitely took a little while, but I was able to get through the queue, which I was super excited about and um, get my hands on it. Now I did only pick up the eyeshadow palette. I didn't get the lashes just because you guys know I don't wear lashes all too often. And I just kind of figured, you know, grab the palette and get the hell out type situation. And obviously it's super frustrating. Anytime, you know, stuff like this goes live and then no one can check out and da da da. And like it, it ends up screwing over a bunch of people. They wait in line. Um, and, and that sucks. Obviously I actually heard from one of you guys, I want to say, um, and I, I might have mentioned this over on Instagram too, but somebody mentioned that they were in the queue and by the time it was their turn to check out, it was like 2.45 in the morning, like 2.45 a.m. And because they missed their checkout, because they were obviously sleeping, um, they ended up not getting to buy the palette because they missed their spot in line. And stuff like that, I think, is like beyond frustrating. Like it's already annoying to be in the queue, but that to me is just like a whole nother level. Um, so for those of you that kind of got stuck in that situation, like, oh my God, it's just, it's, it's so frustrating. And I would never blame anybody for being mad about it. Um, my hope is that in future launches, because I, I personally, my theory on this is that I don't think pure has ever had like a, a big launch like this. I don't think that they've ever had, I don't think that they would have ever had a stress test on their website to this degree because like, let's all be honest, you know, Raw Beauty Christie, she draws a hell of a crowd. She has a huge following and people love her and they want to support her. And I, I'm just really bummed that like, this was her first collab, her first launch. And it makes me really sad that it had to go down like this and that they're just, they weren't prepared enough. Um, but you know, that aside, obviously we're going to get a look at the palette as soon as it comes in. Obviously I'll be using it in a video so you guys can kind of get my thoughts and feedback for the relaunch. Um, and, and, and we'll go from there, but I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you know that I did purchase it and that I'm really excited to use it. And I'm so happy for Christy and I, the palette looks beautiful and I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And I'm just, I'm so excited, but just a little update from me to you. And then last but not least, I do have one more item I want to talk about. This one is from Patrick Ta and this is their major or his major headlines collection. And I guess it launched with matte suede lipsticks, precision lip crayons, and a cream and powder blush duo and like I don't gotta tell you okay I do not have to tell you we've already had this conversation how much I love blush okay blush is just like huh, like blush is my thing and I am die hard obsessed with the way these look like not only do they have a cream blush which I am currently obsessed with but they have a cream blush and a powder blush okay like <laughs> are you not fusing two of my current favorite worlds together yes I think you are and I think one of the things that I enjoy most about Patrick especially as 
I'm looking at this collection. I really like the fact that with him, his aesthetic for makeup and how he views it is very consistent, whether he is applying makeup as a makeup artist or creating makeup for, you know, the masses and for all the people. I really like the fact that his elegance and the way that he sees it, like you, you can tell that when he looks at and deals in makeup, he has like this more like refined, elegant type palette for it. And I really, I just, I really appreciate his perspective on it. And I like the fact that you can just see that transition. You can see that he's the type of person that creates makeup that is for everyone. And in doing so, it's just very relatable and it's just such a beautiful brand. And I've even thought about going through and like doing a video, like going onto his website, purchasing a bunch of stuff and testing out just so much of it just to see, you know, is it good? Does it really have that elegant quality? Or is this something I've just trumped up in my head? Because truthfully, like I love the look and the aesthetic and the vibe of what he has to offer. I'm just all about it. Obviously this goes without saying, but if you guys have any thoughts, opinions, whether it's on a video idea like that, or if it's on the makeup yourself, like if you've tried it, you like it, you hate it, whatever, please feel free to leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below because I would greatly appreciate it, especially if you, you know, absolutely hate it and I'm about ready to go drop like a billion dollars on it. It would be greatly appreciated because, you know, for as much as I would love to do the video and I'd love to test it out for myself, if it's absolute hot fire shit trash garbage, then I mean, you know, we could also tell Paige that up front so she knows that it's that it's not any good. You guys want to know the funniest thing as I'm talking about Patrick Ta this entire damn time, what just popped into my head, the uh, the song from Shania Twain, Man, I Feel Like a Woman, and I'm over here like, oh man, I feel like a woman. Bang, bang, da, bang, da, bang, bang. Don't it and it's just like, yes, you go, girl. You go, Shania. Bitch is going off today, okay? And it's just where we are at. Anyways, you guys, that is officially the end of the video. I hope you liked it, that it was mildly entertaining for you, and uh, that you just, I don't know, you had a good time while you were here. Of course, you can let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below, whether it is on these videos and if you'd like to keep seeing them, the products I mentioned, or something that you saw launch that you are interested in picking up as well. Please leave it all down in the comments. And like I said at the beginning, you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. They will both be linked in the description. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. Ring the bell before you leave. And I hope that you guys all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. The video has been over for 13 seconds. This is the hair. This is where we're at, guys. This is, this is what's happening. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Don't mean a mission. Make no condition. Get a little out of line. It's beautiful. Like, I, I love the, like, little, little, little down the line. Man, I want, I, I, I want to be free and feel the way I feel. Man, I feel like a woman. Bunk, 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 bunk.